Thank you. So this is the time that normal people with normal jobs are awake. That's interesting. Okay, I'm going to start off with a story and I thought it was appropriate for this time of the morning and because breakfast is being served, this story is called Fuck Yeah, I'm Bleeding. So there I was, plonked on the couch, heat pack heavy, pimple in nose and ready to snap. My assignment was due, but I felt like crap. My brain's too tired, my ass too fat to write my Women's Studies 101 Gender Power and Change Introduction to Feminist Debates response. And that was that. Until my reluctant Google research and a quirky twist of fate led me to Gloria Steinem's essay, If Men Could Menstruate. Now, as much as I hate to admit it, bumping into a mate while purchasing pads at the supermarket always kindled awkwardness and shame. But if men could bleed, Steinem believes things wouldn't be the same. Getting your period would be worthy, a masculine event. Men would be envious, men would compete about how much blood was spent. <laughs> In walks my flatmate, I asked for his thoughts, put Steinem's theory to the test. Fuck yeah, he said. If I could bleed, I'd definitely be the best. His answer got me laughing too. His answer got me thinking. His answer got me off the couch, on the mic for speaking. Fuck yeah, I'm bleeding. I'm feeding the earth of my maxi pad with my fertilization fluid. I'm dreaming lovers swimming through it. Straight from the body, goddess uterus, and I'm oozing out exuberance. My hysterical hormones are numerous. At first it's heinous, then it's humorous. <laughs> my eggs are on E. There's a party in my fallopian tubes. They're swinging around my mood, and my boobs feel huge. But tonight, my vagina will smoke a bong with my tampon while I relax in reading. It's time to slow down, stop my speeding through the week in, week out. Downtime's what I'm needing, because fuck yeah, I'm bleeding. Thank you. Thanks. So my name is Tammy Sussman, I am a spoken word artist and um, whether I'm, I'm writing for comedy or writing for print, uh, my intention remains the same and that is to shatter cultural and social taboos. So when I got the email from the guys at Vibewire and I was told that the theme was I am woman, I, my, my mind just, just went straight to pride and, and when I thought about pride, I have a one-track mind, so I don't know, a few images started popping into my mind, and the first one is of my partner who, who habitually walks into the kitchen after he's had a shower and just whooshes off his towel and says, my penis. <laughs> and, and the second image takes place um, more than 10 years ago in the breakfast hall at school camp, and I overheard a bunch of guys in my year um, showing off to another bunch of guys about the fact that they'd had a communal masturbation sesh the night before in their room and the hot music teacher had walked in just as one of them was ejaculating and shouting out her name. And a few high fives followed that and I thought that was hilarious and I went back to my cabin and shared that story with my girlfriends who were, you know, around 15 and, and who, like Kasum says, you know, OMG, um, their response was, OMG, that's disgusting. So that's the typical teenage remark, that's disgusting. And luckily I had my friend Gemma with me who, who said, no, it's not, it's actually amazing, you should try it. So out of the <laughs> 10, 10 girls in our cabin, Gemma and I were the only, is that already? Fuck the bell. Okay, <laughs> so... Gemma and I were the only two girls out of, out of ten who admitted that we actually touched ourselves. So I continued shocking my girlfriends throughout the rest of high school and university. Um, I, I just overshare, so I tell them about my vaginal discharge, um, which we all had, but, you know, they wouldn't admit to it. I spoke to them about, you know, my inverted nipple. It's the right one. And... <laughs> another image for you there and I started sharing with them and, and, I, and I don't remember saying this but one of my, my girlfriends remembers that I said to her when we were about 16 years old, you have to start liking the smell of your vagina because you can't expect a guy to want to go down on you if you don't want to go down on yourself. 
I was pretty advanced um, <laughs> at that age. So, so why am I sharing these stories with you? I don't know. Um, I suppose it's because, I mean, the first two examples represent this typically, and, and yes, it's a, it's a, um, it's a generalisation that men have this typically they have a pride about their, their genitals and the wonderful things they can do and feel with them and, and women perhaps do not. And I mean, growing up, I grew up with a strong group of male friends. I knew where each of them kept their Vaseline and their jizz sock. <laughs> Most of them had a jizz sock. You have a, did you have a jizz sock? <laughs> Which usually they were kept under the hard, like behind the hard drive under the, because they weren't laptops then. So they just had their computer, desk, hard drive, jizz sock behind the hard drive. <laughs> And I mean, my girlfriends now, thankfully, are starting to become more open thanks to shows like Sex and the City and Girls, their Fuck the Bell. I'm, I, you know, they're starting to, to really open up about, okay, they're orgasms or vibrators, but no, no, they still won't, they still won't talk about, um, you know, the, the icky stuff. So when I first published Fuck Yeah, I'm Bleeding, I actually had a text from one of my closest friends and it said, and this was only two years ago, and it said, that's disgusting. Um, so, so I guess why I'm sharing this is because maybe to, to the, the prudish women in my life, and maybe, you know, some of us might even dabble in prudishness or, or know someone that does, perhaps we need to, to tell them to interpret I am woman, you know, from a male perspective, like I am woman and I'm going to take it like a man. So, you know, the next time that, you, um, that the women queef during sex, Instead of feeling, that's a, a vag fight. Um, instead of feeling all shameful about it, be like, high five, I just farted from my vagina. <laughs> you know, because I think we need to stop. This, I'm freaking you out a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Um, you know, because I, I actually think that there needs to be more of a sense of pride about, the geni about our genitalia and the wonderful things we can do with them. Now, that poem, Fuck Yeah, I'm Bleeding, does it win the poetry slams? No. Does it get published in, in the poetry publications? Does it win the Judith Wright Poetry Award? No, it does not. But I still submit it into those competitions. <laughs> just so the people on the panel can actually... Maybe I can touch a few people. And, and maybe that's what you can bring into your occupations, you guys that work real jobs, who, who got here at what, quarter to eight this morning? What are you doing? Obviously. So, um... I suppose I should wrap it up, right? It's been about 11 minutes. <laughs> so thanks. I am woman.